tryna get what's mine Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lies Smoking all that loud, tryna free my mind I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kelly. For those that are new, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to use Adobe Auditions Reverb properly because Adobe Audition doesn't really have the best reverb. I do suggest other plugins, but if you guys only have Adobe Auditions Reverb, today I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best out of Adobe Auditions Reverb. I'm gonna record a couple of vocals, do a little freestyle, and then we're gonna add some reverb to it. And I'm gonna show you how to make it sound good. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what reverb you guys are using. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Now Adobe Audition has a few different reverbs. They have, as you guys can see here, a bunch of different reverbs. But I like to use their studio reverb, and that's the reverb that we're using today. Now these are the reverb settings to my Tory Lanez vocal preset which I've been using a lot recently. And the reverb settings to this sounds really good. So this is what we're gonna go off of today. If you guys just copy these settings, you should have a decent reverb. All right, so I'm gonna record a quick little vocal track and then we'll mess with these settings. Yeah, we gonna hit on with our reverb. We gonna hit on with our reverb. They gonna put this shit in reverbs. Hold on, yeah. Who do you to go, boy? Yeah. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lies. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies. Yeah. It's my gut, never had no trust. If it's up, then it's stuck. Never had no luck, it is what it is. I don't take no L, no, we're coming for that win, real shit. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get into this reverb. So, alright, so the first thing I want to go over is probably the most important thing is our frequencies, our high and low frequencies for the reverb. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Adobe's reverbs. Uh, different it's not terrible it's just it's not the it's, it's a little bit different and these knobs are really intense so for an example even right now i notice our high frequency knob even though i cut the high frequencies a lot which i don't usually cut this much they're still pretty present and i want to turn them down a little bit now for the low frequency for majority of your vocals you want to cut to at least 1000 1000 hertz the more low frequencies you have in your reverb the more rumble and bassier your vocals are going to sound and you don't really want that if you cut those out your vocals will cut nicely in the mix and be really sharp and you'll still have a nice reverb on your vocals now for the high frequency cut this knob can be really sensitive as well and if you go above like 4000 6000 10000 to 16000 you will notice in a second i'm going to show you it sounds really harsh and like the free the high frequencies are just they're unbearable you don't want to listen to them like even right now mine's at around 3000 and it's still pretty harsh and i want to turn it down so for the low frequency don't go past 1000 hertz keep it above 1000 hertz and for the high frequencies don't go past 6000 hertz or 5000 hertz so i'm going to show you guys what the high and low frequency knobs do and you guys will see what i mean i'm just trying to get what's mine hop up on the beat we don't write no lies smoking all that loud trying to free my mind i just keep it real i don't tell no lies it's my guy. Never had no trust. If it's up, then it's stuck. Never had no luck. Go, boy. Yeah. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat. We don't write no lies. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real. I don't tell no lies. Yeah. It's my guy. Never had no trust. If it's up, then it's stuck. Never had no luck. It is what it is. I don't take no L. No, we're coming for that win. Real shit. So I'm sure you guys noticed when I brought the high frequency to the right, it got really like and harsh. When I brought the low frequency to the left, it got really like bassy and rumbly. Try to keep your settings around where I have mine right now. So again, for the low frequency, try not to go below 1000. And for the high frequency, try not to go past like 5000. Now for our width knob, I for the majority of the time, I like to keep my width at 100. It gives you like a wider reverb. It makes your vocal sound thicker. It's pretty straightforward. I'll show you guys first. So. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lies. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies. Yeah. So the width knob will give you like a nice, thicker reverb, make your vocals nice and thick, give you a better, thicker presence. I like to keep it at 100. Sometimes I'll go down to like 80, 60, maybe even. If I want like a clean cut vocal. But uh, most of the time, I keep it at 100. Now, your early reflections is like the size of your reverb. 
the more you bring the early reflections up, the bigger and larger the reverb is going to sound. The more you bring it down, the smaller it's going to sound. It's kind of similar to room size. The more you bring it up, the larger your room's going to sound. The more you bring it down, the smaller the room's going to sound. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lies. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lies. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. It's my gut. Never had no trust, if it's up, then it's stuck. Never had no luck, it is what it is. I don't take no down, no, we're coming for that win, real shit. Now the DK is how long the reverb goes on for. So the more you bring this knob up, the longer the reverb's gonna go on for. The more you bring it down, the shorter the reverb's gonna be. It is what it is. I don't take no L, no, we coming for that win, real shit. I don't take no L, no, we coming for that win, real shit. And then we have our room size, and honestly, the early reflections does a better job at giving you a bigger room size. If you bring the room size down, I usually keep mine at 100. The more you bring it down, the more closed the reverb sounds, and the more you bring it up, the more open the reverb sounds. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lines. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lines. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. Now our diffusion will tame the reverb. So the more you bring it up, the less reverb and the smaller the reverb's gonna sound. The more you bring it down, the thicker the reverb's gonna be. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lines. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lines. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. And I like to keep my diffusion around halfway, about 50. And then we have our damping. And the more you bring this up, the more reverb you're gonna get. Now it doesn't really do too much, but uh, it does a little bit. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lines. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lines. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. It's my guy. For the output level, the more you bring up the wet knob, the more of these settings, the more reverb you're gonna get overall. The wetter your vocals are gonna be. And the dry knob is pretty much the opposite, but if you bring that all the way down, then you're not gonna have any vocal. You're just gonna have a wet reverby sound in the background. I'm just trying to get what's mine. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lies. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies, yeah. It's my gut. Never had no trust, if it's up, then it's stuck. Never had no luck, it is what it is. I don't take no luck, I'm win, real shit. Hop up on the beat, we don't write no lies. Smoking all that loud, trying to free my mind. I just keep it real, I don't tell no lies. what it is all right so that's pretty much it for adobe auditions reverb i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure to give it a thumbs up i appreciate it it really helps these videos subscribe if you guys are not subscribed i'm trying to drop new videos every single week and if you guys would like to go check out this tory lanes preset links are down below in the description we also have 20 other different presets as well and we also have way presets not just adobe stock presets as well so if you guys are interested in those links are down below hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon with another video i'm just trying to get what's mine hop up on the beat we don't